This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. You got it wrong. Why? You just said sponsored. I said powered. No, you, no, you did didn't. Not. I did. I said you, powered. No, you, 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 <laughs> that was, Lily, you really I thought did. you were joking. You guys are gaslighting me. <laughs> no. No. Do you have to do it again? That was not a bit. You didn't do that on purpose? No. <laughs> I said powered. No. No, do it Lily, again. Do it again. You really didn't. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I can't believe Do it I, again. I, I thought you were joking. You're gaslighting. No. no. I said powered. <laughs> oh, you, oh my gosh. Please just say it one more time. Because we got to do the clear stream. Man. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. You did it again. No. <laughs> again. You did, you, you did, you did, you did it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody. Uh, you just heard that this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. But you're probably wondering, what is Sunday Cool? <laughs> Let me show you. Sunday Cool is a uh, screen printing company outside of Orlando, Florida. Right over here, we have our art department. Over here, we have our sales team. These teams right here work around the clock to make sure your order, whether it's shirts, stickers, hats, whatever it is, they're making sure it's perfect. But I bet you want to see where the t-shirts, your t-shirts are printed. Come on. This is it right here. Follow me. How we go? Pretty cool, right? Hi, Taylor. Well, that's it. That's Sunday Cool. We print a ton of shirts. We offer 72-hour turnaround, water base ink, super soft, sun reveal ink, water reveal. We got it all. Sundaycool.com. Numbers below. Get your shirts today. Ah. Nothing. <gasps> that was acting. Oh, shoot! Ow! What the? Well, that had to have been real. Nope. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Wow, you're good. <laughs> that did hurt my throat, though. <coughs> did it? Also acting. Oh man, I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> no, that really did hurt my oh, throat. Was, you're affecting me emotionally. <laughs> you weren't even thirsty, were you? <laughs> I wasn't. Oh god! I know. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, 50 years of marriage. Acting. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> he, he really committed. I'm actually blind. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way! <laughs> You're blind. <Just> Obama's? <laughs> what? <laughs> Acting. I'm running know. for a third term. What? <laughs> That's Obama. Why does he got a British accent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm running for a third term. <laughs> Obama, you're British? <laughs> Also acting. <laughs> this is so confusing. I'm so confused. <laughs> but I'm excited for our future. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. It's, yep. Hot. it's hot in here. Tell me about Maybe it. Maybe it's cooling down. It is. It is. <laughs> do I? Do I? Do I feel cool? Hey, what temperature do you feel it's outside? Sixty-seven. <laughs> it was frozen. Wait. Rain today. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a, there's a tornado coming. Storm coming. <laughs> Storm a brewing. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Wait, is that Obama? <laughs> what? I can't keep up. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> um, all right. Mm. All right. <clears throat> do you want a song? I do. I do. I do. I do. You may be wed. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, he's got a guitar. Oh, he's got a guitar over there. What? <laughs> See, I was gonna do that again. But I've done it so many times. So it's I, still I went, funny though. What? <laughs> do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! What? 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 <laughs> We, we just need that just to be a good shirt, just like that. But it's like the, it's, but it's an instruction, so it's like the dotted lines of the arrows going up and down. How to do it? <laughs> <laughs> what kind? Of, what, what do you want? I'm kind of like thinking like a um, maybe like a weird, scary jungle chant. Scary. Ooh, scary. It is, is ghost it, and gold. Is it darker in this corner than normal? I can't. 
Oh, I think it is because I think that light's turned a little bit this way. I've been in the sun quite a bit, so it might be a little <laughs> darker over here. Right. Working on my tan. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. <clears throat> Oh, you you want to start? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, go ahead and I'll try. I'll, to I'll try something. to I'll try to track with it, what you're going with. Okay. Many years ago, I was traveling through the Amazon rainforest when I happened upon a cave. As I entered this cave, I saw nothing but ruins around me. Stories of the old. People have come and gone. But then, I had a vision. What I saw before me was a ninja. To the left of him, to the right of me, a butterfly. But as I look closer and examine, I realize they were not separate. No, they were one. Ninjas on, ninjas on, ninjas on, butterflies. 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 This is our show. It's ninjas on butterflies. Please don't be scared. Don't you dare close a single eye. Look into the sky and you'll see the truth. If you're looking for the aliens, here's the proof. What a spooky noise that we just heard. Everything we talk about will be absurd. Don't be scared. Look into my eyes. Open your ears. This is ninjas are butterflies. Ninjas are ninjas are 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 ninjas are butterflies. Ninjas are, ninjas are, 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 ninjas are butterflies. Whoa, what just happened? Did you? I blacked out for like two minutes. I think I just peed. What happened? I don't know. Where am I? Oh my gosh! How you doing, what Lil? Just <laughs> it started out very Sufjan, and then and Whoa. then is not. What was that word? Sufjan. Sufjan Stevens. Stevens. We like, fell in love again. The only Sufjan. Stevens all I know is know. even. All things know. Oh my gosh, sure. that was so scary! You liked it? It was like a cult that was change. not <laughs> written by AI. <laughs> that was not you guys did that. We did that. Yeah. I was watching Andy in this like intro setting the stage, and I'm like, is this just like flowing out of him? Like, <laughs> is this normal? No joke though. When you called me, that's when we started writing that song. Yesterday? No, today. <laughs> Ooh. Like an hour ago. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah. You guys are crazy. We had fun. We we had fun. We had fun. Ninjas are butterflies. And then when you yelled, ah, <laughs> you levitated a little bit. That was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a death whistle. Hey, death whistle, everybody! That was Give scary. it up for the death whistle. <laughs> oh. Actually, funny thing, Josh has actually been um, uh, waking up his whole neighborhood at five a.m. with the death whistle, <laughs> like a chicken, like a rooster. Oh, speaking of roosters. Oh. <laughs> what, what happened? We have chickens. We got chickens. Oh, yeah, you guys got chickens. That's pretty dope. Yeah, but speaking of chickens, oh. everyone be quiet. Oh. <laughs> because I have a question. Soon in by a viewer. The question today <clears throat> Do mothers complain too much? We know where this is going. Uh, I mean, I don't. <laughs> I can only speak for. I am. I'm married to a mother. Mm -hmm. Your not mother, mine, not mine. 
but good. yeah, good. Um, and um, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so no, either. I think so. they're uh, no, nope. Yeah, Andrew, yeah, trying to think quick, going back through my life. It's not all encompassing, but I think I have to say in this moment. No. no, they don't complain too much. I don't think they complain enough. Oh, interesting. Well, since you are a mother. And it's Mother's Day two days from now. Welcome to the show and happy Mother's Day. Oh, that was sweet. We didn't try to get her. Nope. <laughs> That's an empty old mind. You were martial arts! You deserve to be happy today. Thanks. I am happy a lot. <laughs> I am happy a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name's Leon. Happy a lot. Uh, but you have um, chickens now. Chickens. Our we got them from um, uh, Aunt Cassie. We adopted yeah, them. My sister. Our, uh, our guests feel unwelcomed. What do you mean? Who? Guess. What are you talking about? But we didn't say welcome to the show and scream. Oh. Oh. That's okay. I said welcome to the show and happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. 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 Tripping. <laughs> I went yeah. somewhere. I yeah. I missed it too. Say but it then, again. But okay. No, you, you. Yeah, say it again from the top. What? How did I do There that? we go. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like um, I just blacked out and played that song in my head again. It's it's it is a haunting song. I know. I'm like it's like stuck in my head. And it's going like this. <laughs> the room is pulsing. It's catchy. Yeah, our rooster's Ew. name is um, Hen Stefani. Hen Stefani, that's really good. Not original to us. Cassie named it that. Oh, yeah, God. that's pretty good though. Hen Stefani. Try to think of other chicken pun names. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Dyson. fun. It, the girls are excited about the chickens. Yes, mm. Ada for sure. Right. Yes. Yeah. Making the buck, 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 buck noises. So you're a mother. I'm a mother. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Thank Day. Thank you. In two days. Technically. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Don't, two. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks. <laughs> how do you, how do you, how, just year in review, how do you like being a mom? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I do. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm tired though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Jane is in her four month sleep regression. She mm. hit it right on time. We're so not that sleeping. means she's flip flopping, right? Or yeah, just, she's like, well, yeah. she's like waking up like every hour. Yeah, sometimes every, every hour, thirty minutes, two hours. Um, yeah, and it's like the good times are so good with Jane, and the bad times are so bad. You know, it's like terrible. But uh, you know, I mean, she's growing, and that's beautiful. Um, and speaking of motherhood, I have made the decision. I can announce this now, probably on this podcast, <gasps> to take. A step back, and I'm going part time. Wow! Yay for part time mom! Yay! Not part time mom. <laughs> Full time mom. Full time mom. But part time <laughs> working part time. Working part time. No! I just said it because, like, it's uh, yeah. I mean, we should uh, we should be part time parents. parents. I'm a part time parent. <laughs> but part of your part time is going to be the podcast. Yeah, so I'll stay on the podcast. This the the PPP part of her part time. Part mm-hmm. of her part time is the podcast. <laughs> Perfect. Four peas. <laughs> um, yep. Yep. So I'll be more available to everybody. I'll stop neglecting all things. You don't neglect all things. Just your children and uh, yeah, your husband, husband and, 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 uh, and uh, lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> um, Who's to say? Here's a funny story. <laughs> Hit me. You had your headphones on the other day, so I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, my parents, for some reason, had a... Like literally a swarm of locusts <laughs> attack their house mm-hmm. and have just been eating all their plants. And so they're showing videos of them like throwing like flour on them because like, apparently yeah. that may kill them. Yeah. And I said, uh, have you tried letting the, your uh, God's people go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. And they're like, haha. <laughs> and then I sent like the, from the prin- uh, oh, Prince of no. Egypt, the, um, the Tim Blake song. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, let my people go. Yeah. And uh, a bop. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Um, and I was giving Ada a bath and Lily was in the kitchen singing it like a maniac as loud as she could. Both you parts, love it. You love fiends it. and Moses. I was yeah. singing both of them. And I got a notification. Can we get like phone. a, just a level? No. Yeah. We just, no. a, just a level of how high you were singing. Like it how, was how so loud. loud. <laughs> I was shouting it. You don't have a sample. Bop, bop. 
Ah, ah, thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, I will ah, not let my <laughs> people go. I stayed like for it. It was louder than that, though. Okay. I, w- I was full on freak show in my pajamas. Yep. That's just like, that's the, that's the, like the tired mom. Like when you're like delirious and you're just like trying yeah. to survive. So you're in, you're entertaining yourself. Yep. Yep. But our neighbor, I, so I got a notification or someone rang our doorbell. Yeah. Cause we got that ring. Right. That technology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and it was our neighbor or he owns the field next to us. Mr. Wilder. Mr. Wilder. Mm-hmm. Shout out Mr. The beekeeper. Wilder. Yeah, yes. He's apparently are going to live forever. Yeah. yeah, this dude knows how to work the land. Yes. Like he, yeah. he's so talented. his garden is nuts. It's huge. huge. He does it pretty much by himself, right? His brother helps every now and then. Yeah. And yeah, he's out there every day. Yeah. Has bees. But you've he heard has- how beekeepers have the longest um, longevity of life, right? Wow. Yeah. Like I of all, of that. all types of jobs and we'll go into it, but like one day, but it's like chemically and like the honey. Oh, stuff, interesting. It's, it's bonkers. I do. Good, yeah. I do feel like there's something supernatural happening with that family i think mm. he's from like the 1700s <laughs> like like tuck everlasting yeah mr wilder uh, so he's think, just like immortal the well is on that land that's why they'll never sell it <laughs> the oh, spring of life yes! <laughs> <laughs> interesting yes. there it is well he, we'll listen. test it out <laughs> um so he rang and i'm like yelling a little lil lil lily <laughs> I can't Mr. Wilder's at the door. Lily! I'm singing so loud. And I come out and she's singing. I said, Lily! She's like, what? I said, Mr. Wilder's at the door. It looks like he has veggies for us. And he can hear all of this. It's not like we have really thick walls and doors. And she's like, you go. She's like, he definitely heard me singing. You go. I'm like, no, you go. He's pushing me. I'm pushing to the door. I'm in my pajamas. You're literally physically pushing it. I'm doing this because I got to give Aiden a bath. I don't want to leave him the tub for too long. Don't talk to the strange man outside. But in addition, you're not giving me the opportunity. I kept saying, please go, please go, please go for me. Please go for me. Mr. Wilder loves Lily because Lily's just so sweet to everyone. I get socially awkward with people. I'm like, hey, yep. Yep. Mm, yep, yep. And it's always really awkward. He's a little him. that way too. So when you guys interact, it's like we're both <laughs> socially, socially <laughs> awkward and people. Two, two people, people in the, of the robot. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I I forced her to go <laughs> for you. You physically forced your in wife in my to pajamas. Go. So yeah. I I grabbed me like a blanket off the couch. I'm like trying to figure out how to wrap <laughs> I myself. It. I ripped the blanket. I said, just go. <laughs> I'm like, let me get a sweatshirt, please. And he's like. Get out the door. He's been here too long. And he can, he can literally hear all of that. All of it. Yeah. And I could tell when I opened the door that he had been hearing all of it. Because yeah. he was like, immediately, he handed me the box of vegetables and took like 10 steps back. <laughs> Started <I'm sorry>. break <laughs> dancing. <Yeah. laughs> and he was like, well, here's your veggies, you know. <laughs> and then um, he was like, oh, I like your wood floors. You know, I put those in. I built this house. Me and my brother built this house. Yeah. So him and his brother built the house. Wow. How does that make you feel? Good. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's an awesome guy. And then I said... You know, me, social. I said, shut up. No, you didn't. <laughs> and he's like from the 1700s. So yeah. he was like, yes, I did. <laughs> you know, don't, don't tell me. Shut <laughs> up. Ma'am, I, I, res- I, re- I believe I, I'm at your house. I understand. I've but never, please be, don't be rude to me. I've never heard a woman talk <laughs> like that. <laughs> he said, yes, I did. And then Frank is out and um, he said, what's his name? I said, oh, that's Frank. And he said, uh, Brink. <laughs> And I said, I said, Brink. I said, no, <laughs> no, no, Frank. And he was like, Brink. <laughs> and I said, his name's Frank. And he's already 20 feet away from me because he keeps backing up like this whole conversation. Let him just say it's Brink. <laughs> and he said, Brink, like the security business. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Frank, like the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said, Franklin, you know, or anyway. And then so he's backing away. And then I went back inside and I thought, I can't interact with him ever again in my entire life. Oh, you so can. Embarrassed. So I, embarrassed. That is bit, so funny. The image of a southern old gentleman like moonwalking <laughs> away from the situation. It literally was like <laughs> Nick Miller Nick moonwalking Miller. <laughs> away from the conversation. He was halfway out the gate when I was still yelling at him, you know. But I love him. I, oh, and I said. You come hey. to my house, you say my dog's name right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I was like, hey, thank you so much for these vegetables. You know, Josh and I would really like to have you over for dinner. And he said, don't do that. <laughs> he he's a not. very just modest. that about his like politeness yeah, it's like he's, okay he's, <laughs> he's a like, very modest man he's like i don't want to do yeah, more than the typical yeah, neighborly just, thing. let's just do this yeah <laughs> this thing's good for me i think this you is good have. i don't want to i feel like we have a good thing going right here <laughs> yeah. please don't ruin that yeah <laughs> but he's so sweet yeah, and he's, he's given us best. so many veggies that's and awesome. two 
big jars of honey. What have you given him? Well water. Well water. While he was growing and his and w- conversation. <laughs> That's awesome. But he loves Ada in the in Baby Jane. He's yeah. always like, hey. Having good neighbors like that is key. Yeah. I, the first house we ever moved into, um, I was like, you just move in. You're like, you want to be that neighbor that's just like super friendly that's always willing to help so we move in and we have a ton of people there and you know i'm like grilling up hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff and he comes over and is a very very elderly gentleman and he's like uh, you know hey welcome and he's like can i have a hot dog and i was like sure <laughs> sure and i was so excited in that moment i was like anything you want anything at all i'm like 19 at this time and so i'm just like whatever i'm so super naive and then you know like a year later, this dude every other day is asking, like, hey, can you run me up to the gas station real quick? Oh, hey, no. do you have any extra this? And it was every other day it was something. I was like, I was too nice at the beginning. Oh, no. I was too nice. Yeah. He was homeless. <laughs> he wasn't actually your neighbor. No. Yeah, he oh. lived in our walls. It was crazy. <laughs> we inherited him into the house. Yeah. He was, like, was part of it. <laughs> and he's like, good night. That's a Closes part the window. Good I mean, the, the, the painting <laughs> in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a part of the contract you don't read. It's like really small text. And then Mr. Childers or whatever lives in the walls and you have to feed him <laughs> twice a week. And that's what's happening in your house. That's why he's coming over and bringing veggies. Oh. He's like, because then he stops by and he's like, hey, here you go. Because he built that house and he, he built knows, he knows the secret. He knows the secret ways in. He accidentally bricked some, one of his family members into the wall. <laughs> oh, gosh. And so he's just made it his mission to feed that person forever. Fun fact last person to live in that house died in the house. <gasps> in the yeah. house? That's and- fun. We what don't room? know what room, but I would speculate the <laughs> spare room. I yeah, I was I I'd was say the master I, bedroom. I, no, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I keep guessing the garage room, like the enclosed garage room, because where Jane will sleep. To this day, <laughs> <laughs> to this day, it still smells like cigarette smoke in there, like every oh, now yeah. and then. Yeah, and I think it's it's the ghost every of now and then. Yeah. It's a ghost of him. Yeah, it's weird. So it's like <laughs> it's weird. Oh man, we'll go like a month without smelling it, and walk in one day, I'm like. Man, it smells like cigarettes in that here, That is dude. crazy. It's me. No. <laughs> yeah, Lily's no. just in the middle of the night just yeah. smoking a pack a day. Um, but yeah, Lily's mom keeps saying, like, I think he died in the living room. I'm like, don't say I that. Don't wanna I, don't wanna, I don't want to I don't want to think about that. You know what? I, I don't think I've ever actually cared. Or asked, <laughs> you know? It's not like I'm doing an investigation. <laughs> I don't need to know this. <laughs> yeah. But realtor's always, realtor's like, here's the disclosure. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's thanks. good. I, it was like a, it was something not nefarious. Yeah, old he was age. a, he was a really old, right, old man. Right. Why is mysterious circumstances? I heard. <laughs> it was like saying. ninety something. <laughs> it's mysterious. <laughs> um, speaking of things that we can't comprehend, the uncanny valley. Hmm? The uncanny valley. Oh, I've heard of this. I think. Hmm. Have so I? you have heard of this? Oh, that have you heard the, of this? Oh, maybe, <laughs> possibly. It sounds familiar. I don't you know. know what the uncanny valley is? No. So basically, it's this term used. Oh man, I had to pull it up on the internet. Is this spooky? Yep. Okay. Um, I think I know what it is. So basically, the uncanny valley is a term used to describe relationship between human-like appearance of a robotic object and or something else, and it's an emotional response. Oh, I have. It, evo- it invokes. So basically, it's like when you look at something. So like the AI stuff, you look at it. And there's an un, unnerving, yeah, an unnerving. That's the word. That's the word. Unplerving. Unplerving. <laughs> it's an unplerving yeah. reaction that you have, where you're just like, ah, that's weird. Yeah. Like okay. it looks human, but it's not human. Yeah. I actually yeah. just saw something like that today. It was an AI pizza commercial, and it Ew. scared me. It was like one of those '90s pizza commercials. Called, that's the uncanny video. valley. Okay, yeah, it was super strange because like. It was familiar, but yet it was terrifying, and I've never seen it before. It was weird. I forget what it was. I think it was Shrek originally, mm-hmm. where it was, I think, like, they did, like, a mock-up of, like, Princess Fiona. Yeah. And they showed a, um, what do they call them, the groups? Focus group. Focus group. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was terrified of it because it was, like, way too lifelike, yeah. Yeah. but not. Interesting. And so they changed it to make it more cartoonish. The whole can movie. you explain? Is that that like kind of like the polar express type <laughs> of stuff? Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be kind like of a something's form off. Of yeah, it's yeah. like yeah, ah, like their movements are weird, but their so eyes. it can look, so it can look different. It's not like one type of it's it's just the that's the idea of it. When yeah, something feels that way. But Got the it. strange okay. thing I saw a video today, and I've never thought about this. Someone said. It happens with it with every human, the uncanny valley, where mm-hmm. there's just there's a 
reaction to something that's like, it's a fear almost of like, you're not human, but you kind of look human. Yeah. He said, how is it that every human has that? Yeah. Like, how is that ingrained in our DNA, in our brains? Like, what has happened yeah. oh, weird. previously to where we interacted with something that was human-like, yeah. but also not human? This reminds me of us a little bit. <laughs> yeah. The, like, oh, the, yeah. the mirror scene. Yeah. I think, it's, uh, I think it's that animal instinct that's in us. Like, think away that... Well, I think it goes back to... Biblical times, like oh. like way back. What do you mean? Like fallen angels and like oh um, yeah, like the the sons of man. It says basically yeah. angels sleeping with the daughters of men. Yeah, and creating this being. Yeah, well, that I mean, was like not human, but also human. Well, we've all seen those videos that are li- um, the people that are talking, and it's all AI. It's like yeah. like you actually see the person; and it looks real. Everything about them seems real. The voice seems real. Everything looks normal. But then they find out, it's like, oh, this yeah. person's completely AI. This person you're looking at doesn't even exist. Yeah. And, like, it's it's scary. It's but isn't that weird that every person has that? Like, it yeah. might not, you might not react the same to certain things, but everyone has this unnerving feeling yeah. of, like, you see that and you're like, something Ooh. triggers in our mind. Yeah. 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 Like a fight or flight kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like Micro- that's not normal. Yeah, Microsoft yeah, yeah. had a project that got shut down because it was basically like talking to Siri, but they built an avatar. I think it was supposed to be on the Xbox 360. That might that I think that's what I was thinking of with the Shrek thing. No, Shrek thing's a thing too. Oh, it is. That okay. is a thing. But yeah, they had an avatar, and so you'd log into your Xbox, and then an avatar would pop up, and it could read your facial expression, Ew. Yeah. and it would emote with you. Like, what are you in the mood for? Now, this is Xbox 360 days. Like. Yeah. Early two thousands, yeah. the tech was already there. Blockbuster, and it. I can't find the video anywhere. Like I watched this when yeah. it came out. It's been buried, but legit, it freaked everyone out. They're like, "All right," and then they came out with that little camera. So there's no more avatar. There's no more conversation. But the Xbox had a camera. Yeah, and so it was like they're still. They can read your emotion. They're still doing all of that. But weird. Uh, I, like don't, that. I don't like that. <laughs> Those, I don't like that one bit. No, <laughs> no thank you. Uh, that uh, video that scared you the other day because it's about like if you see someone that looks like you, run oh away. Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> really, okay. That was there's, scary. There was just we won't put yeah, it no. here or anything. But there's like those TikToks where it's like meant to scare you. So I'm like, I hate being scared. You so know, like, jump scares scary. coming. Yeah. And so I'm like watching like all tense and the part that I thought was the scariest and I turned it off. I showed in and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, Oh, that's the scary part. And he's like, that's not it. Keep watching. Yeah. It. Yeah. I said, I was just like, I was like, there's gotta be something more. Cause I'm, I'm seeing the video is not done. So I said, can well, let's watch it. So let's the whole it. thing was this girl's <laughs> washing her dishes and like the news going like a alert thing. And it says like they've intro- infiltrated our earth. Blah, 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 blah. They disguise themselves as blah, blah, blah. So if you see yourself hide or run, and you're like, ooh. And then there's like a hand that pops. Yeah. And you're like, ah! <laughs> and that's where I turn it off. And he's like, no, keep watching. <laughs> and it's <laughs> the girl in the doorway. And she like like put like black makeup or something on her it's, eyes. It and was she's smiling. <laughs> <at him. laughs> and it's her. And I go, <laughs> ah! <laughs> I've never seen Josh more so scared, scared in my life. Like I was like, ah! <laughs> he wouldn't so stop. So scared. <laughs> I and wanted it, to cry. I and so I was scared. laughing. Probably the hardest you've that's, ever heard that's me laugh. That's the best show me the video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the camera video. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so yeah. good. It is scary. Why did they film? They edited it weird, too. It was, like, filmed all scary. Yeah, it was, it's like, the that grain, grain like, yep. that make you Ooh. the Uncanny Valley. Ooh. Yep. Shout out UCF <laughs> and stuff. Blair Witch. <laughs> yeah, true that. Yeah. That's where that style came from. Yep, true. Makes the viewer feel uneasy. That is a scary movie. That's the first scary movie <laughs> I ever saw. I remember when, it, like, came, when I watched it for the first time thinking, I was like, this is real. I know, and they—that's the—that's the how they market it, which was genius. Like yeah. all it was was like we found these, you know, the police police have literally released these videos, yeah, and we're allowing we put it together so you can watch it. It's basically a documentary, and like going in like that, yeah, is so scary. So scary, and like <laughs> and it ruins it afterwards because you're like, oh, that's fake, and it's because like people booed. Apparently, people got mad because it's at the very end. It was like made in Hollywood or something like that, or made yeah. in like edited whatever. And everyone lost their minds because oh they gosh. thought it was real. Yeah, I will never watch it. I've never watched <laughs> it, and I will never watch hey, it. Hey, there's a that should have been my homework. I, I I never send you guys homework. Um, I can't do. For you. <laughs> I can't that do. That should have been that it. That one you would scare no him idea. too much. You have no idea <laughs> the, the final scary mu- movies that I've seen, which in your eyes probably wouldn't be that scary. Sleep movies. As sure. a child watching these, I am still scared of them today. Like yeah. if I'm in a dark room, yeah, yeah. like walking through the house. I just go back to those memories. What were scary movies that you watched when you were a kid? 
Um, I think the uh, is it the grud, grunge? Oh, the grudge, grudge the grudge. Yeah, yeah that the, was, the I have the, the grunge. I, it's I, the nineties band <laughs> <laughs> music. The grudge. No! Yeah, Dude, yeah, the grudge. I have, yeah. I have a story about that movie. I watched it with my bandmates. Sorry, mom. I watched a movie I wasn't supposed to watch. You didn't know about it. <laughs> but I lived in base housing, so I had to get dropped off a half mile in the middle of the night to walk back to my uh. house. Literally, that's the first and only horror film I've actually seen. And so I'm freaked out walking yeah. pitch black street all the way home. I get home and my brother, who is Asian, literally <laughs> I'm walking out the hallway and he I guess I woke him up and he just peers <gasps> around the corner and looks at me and it like I about fell out. It's just <laughs> oh my, my, gosh. my brother staring at me half asleep. Your brother's here. Chinny, chinny, bang, bang. Yeah. Yep. Is that your his nickname? Yep. Your film? Is yep. it? Is it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I'd definitely greet him that way and see what he does when we hang out later. <laughs> there was a time when I was uh I was on the top bunk uh, and I had watched the ring and I was really, really scared and I had a bad dream and I had woken up and I saw that my you know, me, me my brother and my sister shared a room and my sister's over there and I thought she was awake. And so I'm telling her about my dream, and like, and, but I didn't want to open my eyes because I was so scared. I didn't want to open my eyes, but I was just telling her why I was so scared. I don't know why I thought she was awake. I don't know if I was delirious or what. And so I'm saying, and I'm telling the whole story and like what happened and all these things. And I'm talking probably for two or three minutes. And then I said, Andy, this is silly. <laughs> open your eyes. It's not a big deal. Little did I know my mom had heard me talking. And so she's like, I'm going to go check and make sure he's okay. <gasps> she walks in. She stands right. Oh. It scares me thinking about it. <laughs> she stands right in front of me. So she, it's a bunk bed. So she's right there. With her face. Ah! And so <laughs> screen from the TV, just a white fluorescent face, right? <gasps> and so I'm like, Andy, this is silly. I open my eyes. And dude, it's just my mom <laughs> staring at me. And oh I, dude, it was one of those things you couldn't even scream. You were frozen. <laughs> and I I had never been more scared in my life into that. Like I, I froze. So dude, I, it was so bad. I couldn't sleep the whole night. It, like, oh and it gosh. still to this day still like weirds me out. So oh like gosh. sleep talking and sleepwalking like runs in my family like really? crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like Does one it time, run or walk? Hey, sometimes both. <laughs> oh, um, but like one time, I woke up crawling out of my window. Like it's oh, really? it, it can get crazy oh sometimes. My gosh. But my sister had it so bad, like, and she was she had to have been how old was she? She was probably like I've heard like twelve. Se- no, she oh. was like, oh, how old are you in fourth grade? That's like uh, ten. Okay, so no, she was a she no. was like nine or eight, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Who cares? But 15. she was, um, she, her, At the um, grade to five. <laughs> her bedroom was right by the bathroom. Yeah. And there's one time I was going and I was, I'm just scared of everything. Right. Yep. And I walked to the bathroom and like at this point she was like wearing like this like gown, like this like nightgown. Yeah. And she's just standing in the doorway <laughs> like this. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my dog. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I just ran back. <laughs> And then another night, I went to go in to the bathroom, and I came out, and she goes, "Wait." I'm like, "Oh my god!" And she goes, "Josh." No, right. she goes, "She goes, wait." And I like sorry, and she's like, "No, come back, come back, come back." I'm like, "Oh, oh my god!" Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Running as fast as I can, so scary. I can't even imagine Cassie doing that now. No. Like that would be so. It scary. was so terrifying. And there's one night where she slept walked, and my dad slept walked. <laughs> Just having and a family they, they meeting. They met in the kitchen, and at this point, she was probably like twelve. Yeah. And my dad was holding her like a baby, like in the kitchen, just, they standing, were both just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom walked out, and she's like, "What in the world?" I'm going back to bed. I'm not <laughs> dealing with this. She's kind of like, "Steve, Steve, why don't you put Cassie to sleep?" Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it runs in our family. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. that is so funny. Yeah. Jeez, um, I've never slept walking. I'll think. My no. roommate in college did, and he like he screamed. Apparently, he broke yeah. like a headboard like one time because he's like this. He's like six foot three and just like super. Just he's not like a jacked dude, but like he's one of those guys in football. Like in high school, you're like, how do you have so much strength? That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that Taylor strength. Yeah. And uh, this dude would no just stand up and you're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Screaming over here, like, bro, <laughs> calm down. My uncle Brian used to do that too. He used to like wake up with like his 
hand like all bloody because he would punch gosh. holes in the wall. That's Asleep. so that's so scary. Yeah, being that like being a spouse of that person. I has know. He, has, does it happen? Uh, has he sleptwalk or anything like that? You did a lot early on in our marriage. You sleptwalk. I think it was adjusting to living together. Interesting. But now you don't so much. But yeah, I mean, you used to. You would yell, and then you would <laughs> wake me up. <laughs> And then there's been times that you're like stroking my face, <laughs> and then pretty bird, <laughs> pretty bird, pretty <laughs> bird. To me, the most significant time was when we were. I think we've told the story before, but when we were on our honeymoon in Edinburgh, we were staying in like literally oh, like we have not told the story. I think we time. have. Have I we? we have. I don't think so. What are you talking about? When, when we stayed on the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, our Airbnb was like definitely haunted, and so we had <laughs> stayed in there the first night, and I was sick. Yeah, he was sick as a dog, and I had I had like in a little bit like he beat it was a really cool you guys had covid before we really knew what covid was yeah i yeah. guess yeah but it was like a really cool airbnb but i just always felt like i mean this place was established that like a thousand years ago right yeah. i mean maybe not yeah probably probably right old yeah. old 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 and um we were in old town so you know super old but anyway like literally it was probably not even half a mile from uh, the castle where like King, King James, James was, was born, born there. And, like, yeah. there's a, you know, there's a ton of battles and stuff that yeah. happen all yeah. around this yeah. place. And also like the homeless the would live under the city. Yeah. What do they call it? It's uh Oh gosh. I forget what they like call laid, it. Like laid or they built over top of the city to make. Wow. Yeah. They like paved over the there's city. There's a city that's under the city. To, that's crazy. To it's me. so weird. Right. I, yeah. So they didn't like New York too. I forget what it's called, but anyway, we're in this Airbnb and I had the, the heebies and we stay there for a couple of days. And so you always think like in scary movies that it always comes to like the final night, like the culmination <laughs> yeah. of everything. And I had gone to the bathroom, which you had to walk across the apartment to get there. And I heard there was a piano in the spare room. I heard it go boom. Oh my. And I was like, I'm not going to tell Josh because <laughs> if I tell Josh, we be out. It's, I acknowledge it. First of all, all yeah. it's all in my head at this point. I'm yeah. not said it out loud. It'll hear me say it. <laughs> and <laughs> then it's acknowledged he'll also freak out but anyway so we went to go lay down and josh is so sick and he's like coughing in his sleep and stuff like that and then he keeps saying there's something in the room oh my okay. God. there's what? something in the room uh, i get him being like there's something in the room there's something in the room and i'm like what are you talking about tell me right now and i think he was trying to say there's something in the room that's making him cough but it, <laughs> it had all surmounted to this one i don't know what you were trying but to say then we collabed on our stories after, after we got out of the Airbnb. Separately, right? Yeah. Because you said there was something weird. Because I yeah. went to the restroom. Yeah. And I was walking back and I looked in that room with the piano and a chill went <laughs> down my spine. I'm like, ooh, there's something not right about that room. Yeah. But <laughs> so we I like shut the door. But you like, didn't say anything because you didn't want to freak her <laughs> yeah. out. We had the same <laughs> thought, I guess. Wait, so you shut the door. That all happened before her thing? I don't. I don't remember if it was before or after. It That's might have been so after. And we probably. It, I don't think the ghost opened the door. <laughs> I think that we probably spent some time in there or something. Yeah. And then that is so funny. So it was yeah. a melody or just like a. No, it was like a keys. burn. You're so afraid good. as soon as you tell them, hey, I think there's like a good, and then as soon as you hear that, the doors click. Oh, you're yeah. like, oh, no. If I, I knew if I acknowledged it, but I mean, it could probably read my heart rate. <laughs> it knew I was scared. You could smell your fear. <laughs> yeah. Boop, beep, boop. Smoking cigarettes. <laughs> I'm scared um. right now <laughs> talking about it. But that, I, ch that chant really got us into a dark space. <laughs> yeah. I would go back and stay Me there too. because I would it too. was the coolest Airbnb. It looks cool. amazing. Yeah. So cool. Can I show a picture? It was in one of those closes. So all throughout Enbro, there's like closes, which are really just kind of like alleyways full of fun stuff. We stayed mm -hmm. in one of the clothes. Yeah. Is. That's awesome. Is. That is so cool. Um, yeah, but the Scottish people are not good at making pizza. Nope. Do you what? remember that song that you did um, for the uh, Uber Eats driver? Thank you. Um, it was Ahmed Jabbar. Ahmed Jabbar. He was delivering <laughs> food, and we when? were, like, so hungry. Over, over In seas? Scotland. Yeah. And I was just, like, in one of those moods. <laughs> <laughs> and for, it had to have been an hour. An I was hour you were singing this, this, was, this is Lily's oh. version of the, you know, Let My People Go. Yeah. yeah I, he, I was tracking him on the thing, you know, just, yeah. like, for the food. And we were so hungry. I, was, I kept on saying Thank you, Ahmed, Ahmed Jabbar. I love you, Ahmed, <laughs> Ahmed Jabbar. But I would like go off and do yeah. courses or whatever. And Lily's like on her honeymoon. She's like, what is my life right now? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. What have I signed up for? <laughs> but speaking of Ahmed Jabbar. No, I heard. Yeah. Yep. What? Did you hear this? No. We got it out. Don't go anywhere. 
Hey, I'm walking in. Hey, what are you talking hey, about? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hey, Tony, good to see you. Hey, I was just curious. You, 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 hey, have you heard about Clear Stream? Uh, does a bear poop in the woods? Oh, it has a good one. It certainly does. I hey, didn't know that. The rumor has it. My, oh. my, my cousin, Kneecap Tony. Okay. He told me about Clearstream.io. You're kidding me. It's a texting software built for churches. No way. And get this. You can schedule texts, eliminate group chats. You're kidding me. Do everything you need. You're lying to me. <laughs> hey, I look know at me. you look are. Look at me. Look at my ace. I'm looking. Would I lie to you? Don't know. No. Nope. I may, <laughs> but I'm not lying about this. Okay. You see my auto, dot io forward slash ninjas. You get 10% off for life. You're kidding you me. You get to text anybody you ever want. It's beautiful. It's That's gorgeous. Wild. It's a great, it's a great texting software and you should be using it. Every congregation, every event, every business should be using it. We All use right. it. All right. You convinced me. Oh, hey. Hey, you're I'm walking, walking in here. <laughs> Speaking of Ahmed Jabbar, <laughs> <laughs> we need to find him. We what need you. That would be him. We fly him in. That's we like, go to Scotland, do a podcast in Scotland. Are you just for? <laughs> are you an Uber driver in in Rose, Scotland? And is your name Ahmed? Okay, real talk. If there's anyone in Edinburgh, Scotland, <laughs> listening to this podcast, and you have a place for us to come and film a podcast in Edinburgh, Scotland, we're there. Please, please let us know. I would say anywhere. anywhere. If you got a really good hookup, if there's like, <laughs> yeah, we like, we just don't want to do something fun. You got um, a good deal you could throw our way. But I am interested if there's any. Dude, Edinburgh, from Edinburgh would be amazing. Something that'll comfortably hold four families. We are doing, um, we're doing right? a uh, podcast in, um, is it Michigan? Yeah, we're doing a podcast in Michigan this fall, right? The UP. Yeah. So we're going to be going up there. That'll be fun. We're going to go salmon fishing. Is it yeah. Salmon? Yeah. That'll be trout. fun. Trout. Trout. You've been saying salmon the whole time. I forget. I Up north, you could have salmon. The, the I mean, you can get trout. King salmon. Yeah, yeah. king salmon. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Whoa. Hey. Apologies to all the fish people. Hold on. Hey. Hot take. Lily thinks all the fish are the same. Hey. Uh-oh. Um, space. <gasps> what about it? <laughs> ever, ever, ever heard of it? You showed me something the other day, and I want you to explain it. No, I don't know any. I don't know how to explain it. That's the thing. I looked into it, and it's like I read well, then, every type of comment on it, and I was like, I still don't understand. And that's why how vast this whole idea is. And so this, well, it's weird. Yeah. So we have some. Wait. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Okay. I'll just gonna read it, and we can just literally talk about so it. So it's a picture, and we'll show the picture. Yeah. While they're, Andy's talking about they're it, they're new images from James Webb Telescope, so that gave us a really gr- some really great photos last year. Uh, but it's showing extremely warped space time. Space time. <laughs> it's literally physically hey. showing us warped space time, which you're saying, hey, Andy, what is that? To which I say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's saying that this guy's saying, like, it's crazy. Not only light gets warped, but time gets warped as well. Yeah. And so Explain I was reading some that. of the comments, and I can't, it's like Interstellar to where it's just like, what? It, what? What? What are you saying? Yeah. So there's this picture, and it's the weirdest it looking picture. Let me see it again. Yeah. So there's like this star, and it looks like it's like stretched out in like a tube. And what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> You're not even listening to this conversation. <laughs> Lily, whoa. You punk. Just because it's Mother's Day. I heard about a tube. <laughs> Did you? Space tube. <laughs> <laughs> is that like YouTube? This is so fascinating. You're not <laughs> listening. <laughs> Oh my goodness! This is the galaxy. When did you When did you stop listening? Space tube. <laughs> I've caught She's up. She's like space tube dot com. It's a YouTube yeah. for astro- astronomers. There's this picture from the James Webb tel- Telescope. I heard that part. Okay, and it warps space and time and, so and light. S- people are saying like parts of the picture or of this this thing in space. They're like, oh, you could say that this part was taken like a 3,000 years ago. Okay. And this part that you're looking at here is current day, and this part is 100 years ago. Of the same picture? Yes. What? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know I, how that works. I don't know either. It's completely confusing. Yeah, that's what he says. It's like You could see it. Um, the, the galaxy was so warped that we get to see it literally three different times. Zero days, 320 days later, and 1,000 days later in one picture. I, feel like I don't understand because the picture was taken at one time. 
And but you like if you were, were him, <laughs> looking at like a wormhole, like Interstellar. Okay. That would be kind of the same concept of like you're looking at one point, and then you're looking. That at is at one point, point in time. Yeah. And you're looking at the same point that's connected, but yet it's in a completely different space. But of this time. is why I love. Not physical. No, but it is. Hey, um, what's the word? Love time is. <laughs> re- you're trying to say relative. Yes, but what does that mean? Also relevant. <laughs> hey. Also, like, what what relative? What's oh? Did we already say that? I feel no. like it could be confused in like the language though. Like if a star is further away and we're looking at light in one spot, it took more time to reach right. us. So we're actually looking at old light. Old yeah. light. Yeah. And a nearer star is more immediate. We can see it, but. The image that's captured would be. Is, is I need. Fi- I want to read that. The image yeah, yeah. is fixed, but the object that you're looking at could be old and younger. Maybe my whole thing is space is crazy, <laughs> and like who, like why do we think we have it? We we don't. We don't have it all figured out. We don't understand how exactly the universe works. Look at those photos. We don't currently. Every under- dot, every dot is literally a different galaxy. Yeah. That's bonkers. Here's a fun fact. It's crazy. Mm, Fun fact of the day about space. Uh, Okay, if you were to travel at the speed of light, ready? It would take one second to get to the moon. Wow. It would take eight minutes to get to the sun. Okay. Speed of light. It would take 2,000 years to get out of the Milky Way galaxy. 2,000 years. 2,000 That's years. our galaxy. How did Just our upon, galaxy. How did, uh, what's his face do it? Um, Interstellar. Oh, they took the long sleep. No, they did the, the wormhole at the very beginning. Right by Saturn. But it's going to take like a thousand years to get to Saturn. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, no, it does, does it? It took like, it took like uh, two years. Oh. Or something, two or three years. I can't remember. Four years. I forget. But then. So 2,000 years to get out of our galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy. Golly. 46.5 billion years to get to the edge of our observable universe. Traveling at the speed of light. That is nuts. I'm not smart enough for this conversation. Yes, you are. Observable universe? Of what we know. Well, yeah, what we know. Observable as like anything that we've actually physically studied, like we've seen. And does our universe exist with inside another universe, inside and a black hole? It's because it's ever expanding. It's growing constantly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but there, there's a Pete Holmes <laughs> bit. There's a stand-up bit that Pete Holmes does. And he's like, he's like, you like, you think we're it? He says, you think Earth is it? Zoom out. He <laughs> says, he says, when I uh, like, when like, your uh, your body is made of like atoms and little tiny like little tiny things molecules and when like when you ask scientists why when I hit my hand against this bar stool or this table and my hand doesn't go through it because it's the same things it's like science doesn't have an answer they just don't understand like it should be it should like it should go straight through but he's saying scientists uh, like just don't have an answer for it. it's like and we have a universe that's constantly expanding constantly growing it's like isn't that isn't it comforting in a way though <laughs> oh yeah because like. We're never going to figure this out, so let's not worry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm terrified. <laughs> okay. But we did, I did watch today the, the live stream of Japan sent a spacecraft to the moon, and I watched it live land. Okay. And it cut out, and I lost interest because they're like, did it crash? <gasps> really? Yeah, yeah, they've been traveling to the moon for five months, and they just got li- they landed today. It was unmanned. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, but then I looked a up. Robot. But the next one is, I'm pretty sure, a manned one for United States. Yeah, yeah, we have four astronauts going. No yeah. way. Yep, yeah, we have uh, uh, one Big female, three male. Yeah, yeah. Big bird, might. Big bird. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see you up there. <laughs> um, but yeah, do you know the last time a human being walked on the uh, moon? The 60s. No, 73. Yep. Who? Don't know. Somebody, Somebody from it. Russia? No, some American it was astronaut. Us, yeah. Oh, really? It was us, yeah. I thought we had been back years. to the moon or whatever. Yeah. We, we've we sent stuff there, but like a uh, person walking on it. Oh, wow. It was 1973. Wow. Hey, we're about to do it again. That's still Bring it on, Artemis. It's still crazy to me that people that long ago, like with basic computers, were able this to get there. This is what, okay. 
<laughs> Let's just hold on for one second. Are we opening a can of worms? Yeah, a little bit. Crack! <laughs> <laughs> That's how cans open. <laughs> Crack! Crack! <laughs> I can't do the sound effects like you guys can. <laughs> that was really. That was good. really good. <laughs> Who? No, but Me? no, yeah, but you. do now do the can opener. All right. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so you got a nineteen fifty cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, the moon landing. Yes, I go back and forth, dude. I know, I do too. I think that we were on the moon. I, I'm debating if the footage that we have of the first Apollo yeah. mission, or was it no? It was Apollo what that went I, to the moon? Space interests me not at all, and so I have no okay fun database of facts. <sighs> Apollo, I forget. Yeah. Whatever Neil Armstrong yeah, yeah. and Buzz Aldrin and stuff. I'm, I just, I see stuff and I'm like, that's interesting. Yeah. Like someone, I saw a video today of someone pointing out, okay, this spacecraft that they were in landed on the moon mm-hmm. and they had pictures and videos of that spacecraft on the moon. But this jet propulsion system that break them from like crashing into the moon was like the soft landing. There's no burnt. There's mm. no crater. There's like nothing underneath it. It's flat sand. <laughs> and they're like, what's what? going on? What? <laughs> There's been times where it's like, I'm solely convinced. Like, I'm like, oh man, they're using green screens. They're using all this stuff. Now, obviously, I think we we obviously have gone to the moon, but was it Rush Because wasn't it like they're like a There's huge a historically a with Russia? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so it's like, I would, it would make sense that we do act like we went first or sure. something like that but obviously we are we went to the moon we obviously did these things but did it happen the way we think it did Who I, knows? I, ha- I have an answer for the the crater jet propulsion thing gravity is less and so it's like docking a boat but the but, but me, there's I'll, fire i'll take it with this okay so there's like there's there's force onto the sand but yet they still have a picture of the astronaut's boot. It, it would have happened way up. It's like when you're going up to a dock and you throttle in reverse to slow the boat and then it barely arrives. You're not blasting the motor. What about but it's goes- a fire engine. What about it doesn't need to be firing. But that would mean if they cut the engines, they would go, <laughs> right? No, because when they jump, they barely float down. There's barely gravity. You saw Interstellar. Yeah. No, you didn't watch it again. That's I okay. Didn't watch it again. But we I, did rewatch the movies. Yep. Not rewatch you, them. We finished. You finished we Drive. Finished, yeah. We yeah. You texted me last night. You're like, "Hey, when does Drive pick up and actually get interesting?" <laughs> yeah. oh, that's really? so mean. Yeah. That's it. Was terrible. But um, uh, uh, I it it took it was. You have no right to get was, angry right now. Yeah. <laughs> no. It was no. Saying listen. Listen. Terrible. Listen. It was like. I think a little bit, 40 minutes in, because I texted you, and then yeah. I texted you like five minutes later, so it was like 44 minutes into the yeah. movie. Well, I go, whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah. And then it got super intense, but still uh, not... It's, it's one of those things that's like, it's, it's not it's an action-packed movie. No, There's a lot of sub... It's a, a good movie. Yeah. It's and pretty so my graphic. rating for it was a 7.9. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to give it like a six and a half. It's okay. a great looking movie. I love Brian Cranston in yeah. it. I thought they a little bit overdid the eighties. That's what stuff. I was gonna say. Yeah. It the I think that it got such good reviews, especially like when I read their synopsis of it. It's meant to be like one of those more artsy takes on cinema. The shots were amazing. It was too obvious to me and like cheesy art. Really? Also the scorpion. A little too on the nose. The scorpion yeah. jacket. It's like I dig it. I know it's so cheesy, but it's like Josh is like I, that. Seems like a stuntman type of thing, though. Like yeah. Yeah. stuntmen are just weird. I can imagine it's yeah, just like that's that just sense. their vibe. Josh is like, do you pick your boogers or something? That's what <laughs> he's thinking about this guy. I would. I um, but they didn't explain the jacket. Like why is he like there seemed to be like some significance with the jacket, but they never explain it. I'll, I'll have to send you a video. I'll have to watch it because there is a person that breaks a lot of the movie down, and it's very like a very cool subtext stuff that's okay. happening. Okay. So it's, it's, I love, I love the breakdown of it even more, but I didn't love it scene, and I didn't hate it. The opening scene's fun. The f- car chases are a blast. That was fun. And then the night, um, the, got fir- the anxiety going. Like I was like, Oh, Oh, and, oh. and then he puts the hat out back yeah. on, walks through the cops and stuff like that. But then the opening sequence with the song, it's just the best song. I said, he said, oh, good music. Best said, good opening music. song for a movie that I've seen yet today. I like, agree It's just with you. the best first song. I agree with you. So but good. they carried that 80s theme too much with the music, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Because I'm like, because they didn't really like drill down on like what time this took place. Yeah. You know, so you're like, are they like tr- like trying to pretend that it's in the 80s? Yeah. 
Or is it not in the 80s? It's just like nostalgia. Is it like in the 90s? Because they're dressed kind of like they're in the 90s, Mm -hmm. but also kind of the 80s. Yeah. All over the place. That part was a little confusing. Yeah. But overall, it was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I watched Swiss Army Man. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) What did you think? (laughs) So... Josh gave me a fun fact about the film because we were like, it's funny before a podcast, we start talking about what we're going to talk about, but we have this like really careful conversation where we don't go too far in. Okay. I was like the music, I was like really entranced with it. Amazing. And then he told me yes. the uh, front man for Manchester yes. uh, Orchestra. Yeah. Like, fun fact. I got to see them twice in my hometown. Cool. When the bass player was like 17, like me to you at this little eight foot ceiling venue. And I've loved them ever since. And I never knew they were in it. And so I was like, why are these melodies? Yeah. And like, like, wow. Yeah. yeah. The blah, da, da. I yeah. love that. I ha, drove home, ha. let my dogs out and listened to the soundtrack all yes. the way. I was like, this is so good. And one of the really interesting things that they did musically is they took a major harmony and then they bent it minor, but just the background vocal. So it like oh. invokes this like dream state almost. Yeah. Right? It's like, I like it, but I'm disturbed. Why am I like in this trance? Like with the this movie. Music? Yeah. And so, so it's like, cause it's like almost like a feel good movie, but also hey, jo- this is my review. Okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> this is his podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree. Yeah. It's, you feel oddly great while watching it and then also disturbed, but there's this one moment that, was really kind of sad to me is it's like the quick montage before he like has his existential crisis but it starts with something's old and then it shows a shot of the bible and then he explains why like everything is meaningless Mm -hmm. and i'm like dang it kind (laughs) of like missed that yeah yeah Yeah. it yeah it's a super intense movie and so what do you rate it Ooh, um i'll go eight nice yeah i'll go eight that's good what did uh page think about it Paige did not watch it with Dang, me. I yep. wish she would. I wish she would. It's weird. It's, it's weird. She doesn't, like, her job is so nuts. My wife's a special needs teacher, and she goes home and just puts on the most basic, like, feel good, don't want to think, just want to, like, turn my brain off from the work day. So I can imagine. Weird doesn't sit well with her at the end of it. It's funny. Day. It's funny. That movie, I feel like, I feel like is liked, you know, probably, like, held in a high esteem by very few people especially for like the opening parts. But for me, I was sold at the first fart. Yeah. The, the <laughs> fart jet yeah. ski. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. The jet ski, like that scene is alone. <laughs> and I think Perfect. It's, it's very important for that kind of movie to ro- watch it with the right person. Yeah. Cause I watched it first with my cousin Brennan, mm-hmm. who just is the, one of the funniest people I know. And he's joy personified. Yeah. And like on my bachelor party, like while you guys were outside, he was upstairs, like from here to here to the TV, watching Ancient Aliens and just <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and we were watching yeah. Brennan, yeah, oh watch yeah, Ancient yeah. Aliens because yeah. it was the funniest. Didn't thing. understand it. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> like that was so funny. Yeah. So I watched it with him uh, the first time, and it made it amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the use of light in that film too. The mm-hmm. cinematography is insane. So, yeah, I think so too. Do you know what cameras they shot that on, or any of that? No, I do want to look all but that up. It was, it's not really a Valentine's Day movie, but the first time I ever watched it was on Valentine's Day with Kelsey. <laughs> and we funny. had like a dinner at date at home. Uh, and it was just like, what are we watching? <laughs> I'm not sure. So, yeah. So good. We finished our homework. Hey. Yay. Good okay, job, everybody. I have a thing for the next time. It won't be episode 38, but it'll be episode 39. Mm-hmm. Come with your five or we'll do five. Top five current favorite TV shows. SB current. Oh, man, Top I think we should five. do. I think we should do ten, and I think it should include current and all time. With the list. Wait, hold on, hold on. Current, like, like, like something that's airing right cur- now. What's no, no, currently current, your like, favorite? Like currently okay. your favorite. Go back and right watch now. this okay. show right yeah. now. Okay. Oh yeah. my gosh. So <laughs> that's ten. gonna be five, tough. Episode five, thirty-nine. Five's yeah. gonna be hard for me to come up with. Yeah. You're not a show. Well, guy? that's the assignment. <laughs> we got gotta, 10 go binge another five shows are we gonna have homework after where we have to watch an entire show no oh, no. Man. no we won't do the homework stuff because that's all that's an investment i liked it though but we had movies man and we like barely were able to maybe do one of them has to be a limited series okay okay yeah, yeah fair watch that or it's something episode 39 like and yeah. then maybe i think we should make the movie thing like an ongoing thing like maybe one of us in this room gets a month to pick 
Yeah, or we could do um like we can go down to the genres of movies, like top five comedies. Ooh. Or we could do like you know like or you know in the past ten years or something like that. We could mm. we could always come up with something. Yeah, yeah. But there, there's a lot of live action happening right now, and I wanted to share a little bit about that. Yeah, a lot of live action remakes are happening, yes. and a lot of people don't know all these live action things are in the works. So first off, what made me think of it? Do you know um, Lilo and Stitch is getting a live action what? remake? What I did hear, I did hear. What does Stitch yeah. look did you, like? Did, okay, so. This is what went viral um, a couple oh. days ago. What do you think about that? Like Stitch? What do you think about that? Wait. It... Nope. That looks like a... No, no, no. He's cute. He is cute, that but does like it a... look like Stitch? It looks like a tadpole. Well, it went, it went viral. Everyone was going... <laughs> it does look like a little tadpole that's been frozen or something. Um, but it went viral. But apparently it was an AI image. But uh, Lilo Stitch live action is happening, and so cool. um, I just want to give you a list. There's, there's a these are the movies right now that are getting live action remakes. Okay. So tell me what you think. Aristocrats. Lame. How? I don't know. <laughs> they did Cats on Broadway, like the real movie. So who knows? Hopefully, this is gonna be better. I was gonna say that got really good reviews. Yeah. Uh, but re- will they be like animated cats? Though? I don't. It's gonna be almost like, kind of like, like Lion the, King or yeah. the yeah, yeah, like the Lion King. Yeah. Which would you call that? technically an animated movie which is so weird weird yeah right because it's like most of it i don't know it's weird yeah, okay it like uh the next one is peter pan <gasps> again Yay! that's cool How yeah but it's like do they that? do so they, many variations they have done it, like yeah. hugh jackman was captain oh, wait, hook at they, one point like aren't they doing that as a show though on disney i'm not sure but i think they are but, How are they gonna yeah. make it not questionable oh with uh, the native americans mm-hmm. don't know we'll figure it out who knows? Um, Snow White, once again. Yay. Snow White. Uh, Hercules, which will be dope. That would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. that would be Hercules. cool. Do you remember uh, the one with The Rock? Oh, yeah. That was such a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Like the lion, when he gave it, like, yeah. everyone was so excited, but I was like, this is a lame movie. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I actually don't remember anything from it. It was I, that lame. I saw it in a drive in. I was like, excited. I was like, this yeah. is going to be awesome. Because I was such a big wrestling fan. So I was like, to see Rock again, just crush it. As like, Hercules. Yeah. It's like, this is perfect. But it was lame. The tra- that's one of the ones that our trailers are better than the movies. Yeah. Um, they're doing another Lion King, but they're focusing on Mufasa this time. Oh. Yeah, so it's almost like an origin, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Uh, Aladdin 2. Yay, I love the first one. Are they going to do Will, Will Smith? Smith? Are they, they going to? You have I mean, to. you have to, but a lot of things have changed in Will Smith's career since that point. Oh, shoot. Are they going to lose sales? Are they going to? I mean, they're definitely not going to have. No, I, I doubt it. There's, I don't know. Yeah, I doubt it either. They kicked Johnny still, Depp it's, out. It's, it's going to yeah, be weird. Yeah, that was but not lame. Will Smith. It's going to be weird. Yeah, for real. Uh, Jungle Book 2, which I like the first one. I it was did fun. Too. Uh, Lilo and Stitch, it just said that. Sword in the Stone. Oh, interesting. Okay. Retro. And this one I'm most excited for, Hunchback of Notre Dame. <gasps> A live action would be so good. You know That's who's cool. playing him? Who? Josh Gad. For real? Wait, yeah. did I know that? We talked. We, we yeah. mentioned it, and you're yeah, like, kind of like, in every Disney movie. Yeah. I know. Like, yeah. what are they like? Like, there's been a blood contract, and I just, I don't, I love the soundtrack of Hunchback so much. He I sings don't, amazing. I, don't, I know, but I don't want to hear Olaf singing it. Like, yeah, you know, that's, 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 that sounds like a nightmare. True. Um, and then the final two, Robin Hood, which we've never had like a fox cool. Robin Hood. Yeah, oh. we've done. We have had remakes, but not the fox. And then obviously, uh, they're gonna ruin How to Train Your Dragon. Wow. So. But if they do like an adult version, like like where it's like, like just a little bit darker, but there's an actual like Scottish village or something like that, and like make it really graphic with the dragons, fire, and I don't awesome. like that. Movie. I heard adult and graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard Butler in um, the original Imagine Dra- or um, Imagine Dragons, <laughs> <laughs> Trainer Dragon, <laughs> Trainer Dragon. His- Gerard Butler was the lead man in Imagine Dragons. <laughs> his voice is iconic in that. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's so good. And then uh, you have Craig Ferguson in there. And then what's his? Um, I do not like what's his. Uh, Jay, Jay, Craig Ferguson. Is that the kid? No, 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 no. Oh, who's yeah. that? Yeah, his name's Jay something. I can't remember his last name. Can't but stand yeah. it. Yeah, With the, his nasally. I don't, nasal. I don't know, Dad. It, it's kind of one of those. He was a, definitely like a mid 2000s like person that was in yeah. several movies and then you just don't really see anything of them that's anymore. not a dragon <laughs> but, like, but they did a good job making him seem like unintimidating i guess yeah but true i'm excited yeah. that they're remaking snow white because they're live action with Kristen stewart she's no snow white though. she's terrible. no snow white it's terrible <laughs> oh, <laughs> I Lily's just isn't... being a reviewer for a newspaper yeah. <laughs> Kristen stewart she's no snow white <laughs> isn't gal gadot supposed to be the witch whoa that'd be interesting I, I think she is. Really? Yeah. That'd be cool. Because she literally is the fairest of them all. Ooh. Mm. Gal Gadot. Um, I am excited Josh to see agree. The Little Mermaid. <laughs> 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 I'm excited to see The Little Mermaid because uh, Melissa McCarthy plays Ursula. 
<laughs> and I saw her in the trailer. Like, I think you hear her laugh and say like a line. And I'm like, okay, I'm sold. Because at cool. first I was like, I don't know. But it seems like they're going to do really well with it. That's, that's so cool. funny. That's, you, that's where you're supposed to insert. Some would say. I was going to say that. But then you'd be like, <laughs> see? <laughs> see? <laughs> you would say. Not some. She's Wonder Woman. Yeah, you got you to gotta so like what? Wonder Woman. So what? She's a superhero. You look up to superheroes. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Please. Are you? I'm scared, Wonder Woman. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't you see that? No. You're my Wonder Woman. Watch it. Hey, what? <laughs> what? It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. You're my beautiful wife. Oh, my And you're gosh. my Wonder Woman. I want you to save me. <laughs> Help. Someone. Oh, all right, I had more stuff. Actually, okay, there's one more thing. Yeah. And we're not going to do questions corner, I guess. Oh, oh we have to. That's We have to. Okay, do you have do, a question? Do your, one yes. thing, do your one thing, and we'll end on corn, question corner. Okay. Um. No, I don't want to do it, because no? it might get too long. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, question corner, question, question corner, corner, question corner, corner with Lily. Lily. The, the questions are fresh on our mind. Our mind. <laughs> oh, okay. A little Febreze, a little Febreze, because nice. we're so fresh. This is a two-part question, as mine usually are. If you, you Richard Nixon, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you were, if there was a movie made about your life, this is a question. Which celebrity? Leonardo would you DiCaprio. Have, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Which celebrity would you have play you? And also, which celebrity do you get told that you look like often? So this one is the wild card. You can pick anybody. They don't have to look like you. It's oh. who you admire. Okay. But who do you hear that you look like? Cool. Oh cool. man. Oh man. I've you got. Have to, I've got mine. Okay, and both are the same. <laughs> I would want, in an ideal world, I would want Bradley Cooper to play me. Wow, why? Because I think he has that. He can be very serious yeah. and very funny, mm -hmm. and he's very handsome. He is handsome, and you look a lot like him in A Star Is Born. Very sad. Oh, cool. Or he's very sad. <laughs> a Star Is Born. Yeah, but just she's saying you look very sad. <laughs> 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 you look just like him in the Star is Born. You're very sad. <laughs> um, if I were to, or the person that looks like me would be probably Emil Hirsch. Yeah. So I get that. I've had that more often than not. I feel like when more when you were younger. Now yeah. you're more Jason Momoa. Yeah. I love how every video we cool. post, there's always someone that's like, is that Jason Momoa? Well, I keep hearing Duck Dynasty about you guys. You guys look like the Duck Dynasty guys. Are you guys <laughs> from Duck Dynasty? They're yeah. handsome though under their beards. And with their beards. And with their beards. Yeah. You never you never know. I've changed a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I shave my beard 20 years from now, I'm going to have the chin of a 16-year-old. <laughs> but the, the like, face and the head of a 60-year-old. <laughs> it's going to look terrible. You know something they keep saying? Is that the crew from Duck Dynasty? Which makes me think that maybe I'm the Sadie Robertson. But I look like it's if bold of you Sadie, to assume that. Sadie Robertson's mom had fraternal twins in her stomach and Sadie ate part of me. Oh my God. I, I came out like this. No. Yes. I've no. always, I've never been able to vocalize it, but yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what you remind what you me of. Like. All right. Who do you want to play you? Oh, I would have, um, I, I think just because he's the funniest guy on the planet, I would obviously have Jim Carrey. Oh. Because that cool. would be fun. And yeah. he would make me look really good. Cool. He would cool. really, really outshine me. Um, But uh, I think, obviously, I think I would have to choose Jack Black. I don't know. He'd have to gain a little bit of weight, maybe. But, Shut uh, up. No. <laughs> no. Uh, grow out his beard a bit. But, yeah, I think I think we talked about that last podcast, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my answer is the same for both. It's uh, Jason Momoa. But I think that's oh. being kind when I get called him. Well, but, you're, yeah. J you're Taylor Lautner. In my younger years, I got that a lot. Yep. Almost like a Jason Moana. <laughs> I'm just feeling water vibes. All right, let's hear yours. Okay, I would want Leslie Mann to play me because I think she's one of the, the funniest best. women in she's the entire so, world. Who is that? That's uh, she's in um all of Judd Apatow's movies because they're she, married. Yeah, they're, that, they're married. So cool. She's um, um, she's a redhead that has the really high pitched voice, and she's in This Is Forty. She's married to Paul Rudd. She's in like she's not really her. a redhead. As oh. in guy standards, and like she's Can you blonde. Show me pictures? Yeah. Strawberry. You blonde. know, uh, um, uh, the George of the Jungle. The yeah. Old one? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I okay. think she's one of the funniest. Yeah, she women is funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's but hilarious. Josh tells me that I look like Rachel Weisz. 
Rachel Weiss. I don't she's from the lobster. The lobster. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. yeah, she's married to Daniel Craig in real life. It's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> What's who's the girl in? Uh, I when I watched the movie Banshees of Irishin, I thought the main girl almost kind of reminded me like an older Cassie. I couldn't the uh, Colin Farrell sister. Cassie looks like Dakota Johnson to me. Oh, interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see that. That's funny. That's fun. Yeah, I could have George Clooney play me too. I think they're yeah. interchangeable. He is yeah. funny. Yeah, funny guy. They are making him. a new Oceans. No way. Yes, they <gasps> are. That they they, they they confirmed it. I'm pretty sure they. That, I forgot to put I that would. on my. Did I put Dude, say that for my honorable mentions? I don't think so. I love the Ocean movies. I could binge so watch those. They're as soon so as you, good. As soon as you get done, you're like. Re- running it yeah, back. They're so it again. good. They're, it's so diverse and like just, ju- it's funny. It keeps you like guessing. Heist, yeah, yeah. So good. They're perfect. Their movies. twists are amazing. Yeah. So yeah. fun. A reason why I want to bring back this whole exercise of like making everybody watch a movie like you're forced to watch it is that I think that Andy's not going to watch Braveheart unless we force it on him. No, I, I, I will. I will. And I also because I'm going to watch that one. I would rather you guys have given me like homework on another Thing that I've never even heard of or watched. Oh, okay. I can. I'll think of one. Yeah, yeah. But okay. because you love the Patriot, you're gonna love Braveheart. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely need to sit down and watch Braveheart. Except I've seen, pe- I've seen the first. Like I've seen up to the moment where the fight scene where he puts his hands up and then he grabs the swords or whatever. Great and it's scene. Like the, it gets yeah, better. So That's great. the beginning yeah. of yeah. it being epic. Fun fact: the people in Scotland hate that movie. Why is that? Because they're because like, William Wallace was a real person, correct? He was. Okay. Um. Pretty sure it was pretty historically inaccurate. One, the Scottish people at that time were not wearing kilts. Got it. They looked almost exactly like the Eng- English. Mm-hmm. Um, two, they said his Scottish accent was atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it was terrible. It was so fake. Yeah. Whatever. But uh, us Americans, we love it. So the, apparently, like it's so it's basically just stereotypical Scotland. Yeah, that's, that was their biggest complaint. <laughs> yeah. They're like. Of course you talk like this if you're from Scotland. <laughs> Just a like like, caricature of Mel Gibson. Thing. Like, of course we don't talk like that. <laughs> like, I still don't understand what you're saying, sir. <laughs> Please put down the axe. I don't. <laughs> but yeah, watch Braveheart. Will do. Will do. By next podcast. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay. Hey, we're and we're having a special guest next podcast. Mm-hmm. Next episode. Okay. Franklin Gill. Oh. Frank yeah. Gill. Franklin, Franklin Gilead. Gilead. Yes. Yep. Frankfurt. Yeah. Frankfurt. And we, we have some uh, bones to pick with him on his ranking of Marvel movies. He's mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. big Marvel and uh, Disney guy, so we're going to tear him apart. Yep. So that's it. It's going to be beautiful. Love you guys. Love you. Hey, Thanks make sure watching. to review us on everything. Spotify, Apple. I don't know where else you listen to podcasts, but do that. Five stars. Leave us a review because we read them all. And I promise you, by episode 40... I'm going to read my favorite reviews. So make them good. Oh, cool. Make the reviews good. Um, and then subscribe to our YouTube. Tell Sunday, your friend about this podcast. Sunday Cool. Like this video. Share it with your grandma or She's grandpa or mama or papa. And check out People. our music on Spotify. Check out. Yes, we have music on Spotify now. Called What's it called? Ninjas or Butterflies Music? You just type in Ninjas the Butterflies yeah. and there's an artist or there's a podcast. Click yeah. on the artist. We got two songs up right now. We should have a third or fourth one up there. Yeah. Uh, also yeah. go see if we saw that merch for sale. Yeah. Where is it? Because it's been a couple of weeks, so it might be sold out. I don't know. www.sundaycoolswag.com. Yeah. Boom, baby. That's it. Go. Love you. Love you guys. Love you. Good Love pod. You. Good pod. Woo. Done. Done. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most beautiful has an empty mind. You were martial arts! Fuck it, you're I have to be so bad. Okay. Glad AI is editing this one. Hey ho, it's Ninja's on Butterflies.